Riker's second feeding is right around 6 a.m. and then he passes out right afterwards. And on the weekends, I will pass out again too for about an hour. So this is how much I get for my first morning pump. Um, it was about seven-ish ounces or so. Um, and then I put four ounces directly into a bottle for his first morning feed. And then I store the rest for later on in the day. I want to thank my sweet friend Katie for collabing with me on this video. She is doing a 24 hour in the life video over on her channel. She is expecting baby number four right now, which is super exciting. I'm so excited for her. She has three adorable children. She does a lot of clean with me videos. Again, a lot of like day in the life of a mom videos. Be sure you go check out her channel. Please be sure that you tell her that I sent you and say hello. Again, seriously, she is just the sweetest gal and I am just so excited to be collabing with her on today's video. So while everybody else is still sleeping in the house, I like to get my shower on. My brother. Good morning. OOTD. Look at some sackies on you. OOTD. Hey there, you happy boy now. Huh? You're still kind of snorty. Still kind of snorty. But that's better. Yeah. Hi. Hello, good morning. Look at this, kick and kick and kick. Pants are too big for ya. Kick and kick and kick. Remover.
sleepy boy. All right, I'm gonna move him to his basket. I just finished my breakfast and now I need to go to the post office to um, pick up some stuff because my mailbox, I guess, is overflowing. So I'm gonna go do that because they close in 15 minutes. Okay guys, I'm really excited to share this with you. Um, I was sent two of the products from Nested Bean. If you guys haven't heard about Nested Bean, um, they have this like weighted um, piece on the front of their swaddles and sacks, which I got a sack and then I also got a swaddle. Um, so on the box here, it says that it mimics mom's touch and that the touch is self-soothing and that it improves sleep in one to three nights. Now we are trying to get Riker to sleep through the night right now. All right, so we have been experimenting um, with some methods to try and get Riker to like sleep through the night right now because when he wakes up for his like one or two middle of the night feedings, he doesn't really eat. He'll, he'll drink like maybe an ounce or two um, each time and it's just, it seems to be more so like soothing than anything else. So um, even if we could just bring it down to like one waking a night for like a two ounce feeding, um, because like right now he's just on the edge of like still needing that middle of, middle of the night feeding, but um, his pediatrician said that he really is good to go to sleep through the night. He, we don't need to wake him to feed or anything like that. So um, I'm going to start with this tonight to see if that will help him. Um, I will be doing um, a full review of this later on in May. Um, I have planned like a nighttime routine for you guys to share with you guys like what I do with Riker for, um, for his nighttime routine um, and go like really into depth with it. And then that's when I will be doing a review of the swaddle and the sack. Um, so, like I said, I have one of each, and the swaddle you can use, it's zero to six months, you know, as soon as they start rolling over, you wanna stop using the swaddle and start to use the sack. So, um, I have a medium in the sack, and then the um, swaddle is zero to six months. So, very excited to try these out. Thank you to Nested Bean for sending these to me. I will be giving, again, a really in-depth review of the swaddle and the sack next month once I've had a little bit of time to use them. But I'm very excited to start tonight to see if it helps, um, helps with Riker's sleep. So like they said, one to three nights. Very excited. Okay, so usually while Riker naps, I will like straighten up after breakfast. He will sleep from about like 9, 9.30 until like 11, 11.30. Um, so I'm gonna let him nap. I'm going to straighten up after breakfast and finish my protein shake, my booby protein shake as I call it, um, and also my coffee for the morning. That is usually what I'll do during his nap. Um, this is of course a weekend routine because I work during the week. If you guys are interested to see what my daily routine looks like during the week, I will link that video up here for you guys. I just did a day in the life of a working mom of two. My days are pretty chaotic during the week. Um, the weekends are a little bit calmer. Mike is still in the shop working on like furniture orders all weekend. Um, but I am able to have a little bit more free time and spend all day with my babies.
smile and talk to that Baba. Yeah. So Riker um, struggles with like allergies and his nose is really congested all the time. And in addition to that, the doctor told us that his adenoids are like too big for him right now. So he just kind of like rattles a lot when he's breathing. So he needs to grow into his adenoids, if you will. So I clean out his nose a lot just so that it's easier for him to breathe. Sometimes he likes it, sometimes he doesn't like it. So we'll see this time, we'll see. Can I clean out your nose? Yeah. Can you breathe now? Yeah. You can breathe now. He's a happy boy. Who's a happy boy? Yeah. He says, thank you, Mom. Let's get the boogies off you. Hi. All clean. He's like that camera. <laughs> Hi. Look at Mama. Look at Mommy. Boop, 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 boop. And so I still get a lot of questions as to what this pillow is. This is the newborn boppy lounger, and it just has a cover on it from Amazon, right? Right, pal? Yeah, everything we get from Amazon. And then what I used to suck out his boogies, that was the nose Frida, really gross, I know. Some people are like, I could never do it, but it just gets the boogers out so good, doesn't it, pal? He likes to chill in this a lot of the day. Don't you, it's your favorite. We've been experimenting with the bumbo seat and we'll do tummy time and I'll hold him and he'll go in a swing. <gasps> yeah, all the happy things. And these sockies are always falling off. Always, <gasps> they're always falling off. Oh, I could just smooch you all day. <gasps> yeah. Kaya's watching Smallfoot on my phone. Okay, so pumping session number three. Baby boy is just hanging out on the floor over there and I'm gonna chug this water and get back to some of my emails and comments. thumbnail for this video. Now I'm gonna go lay him down for a nap. It's 12.30. And usually I don't lay him down for naps, but I really wanna try out that swaddle. Hey Kaya, do you wanna go grab me the boxes on the stairs, please? Gosh, why is this so sweet to me? Look at baby in my hands. I've got Kaya hand marks all over the mirror. I love being a mama. It's time for a nap for you. Mm -hmm. All right, he was not having the bassinet upstairs, so we're gonna try this. I'm just making sure it's heated all the way through. Another bottle of breast milk, I've got three ounces. Okay, so when I'm really desperate to get him to take a nap, this is how I'll get him to do it. Um, all right, I'm gonna sit here and hold this bottle for you until you fall asleep. This is what I do when I'm like desperate for him to take a nap. I'll put him in the swing, hold his bottle for him, and until he falls asleep, um, he'll stay in here, and then once he falls asleep, then I transfer him up to his bassinet, and that's when he has the longest, best naps. So, and then I also have that weighted Zen sack on him, so we'll see if that helps him sleep nice and long as well. Anyways, all right, I'm gonna hold this bottle here for him until he falls asleep. And then we're gonna go upstairs into the bassinet. Yeah. He's a sleepy, sleepy boy. <laughs> okay guys, I'm sorry if there's a bunch of background noise. So now, now that he's sleeping, um, I forgot to show you this morning. Um, 
this is what I take in the morning. I take, I showed you guys this in my day in the life of a working mom. So this is Fanny Greek, and I try to take two of these three times a day um, to boost my milk supply. So, um, I forgot to take them this morning, so I'm taking two right now. And then I also take uh, virgin coconut oil. So this is cold pressed and unrefined. Now you might like wonder why I'm taking it via pill form. And that's just because um, I struggle with like cooking with coconut oil um, because I don't like the taste of the coconut oil in a lot of my foods. Some of it I really do. So like if I'm baking, I like to use coconut oil. If I'm making like um, lactation booby bites, I really like to use coconut oil. Um, things like that where I, the sweeter coconutty taste blends well with the food um, or like a coconut like Thai curry that's really yummy too but um, these are keto friendly and for the most part you guys I am trying to keep trying to keep my carbs um, lower and I'm trying to keep my calories high or like high enough for breastfeeding because I'm trying to experiment with like losing weight and keeping my supply up um, and not like sacrificing any of my supply. Again, I'm really sorry for the background noise, but I'm trying not to sacrifice my calories, so I'm trying to find other ways where um, I can eat 2,000 calories a day, 1,800 to 2,000 calories a day so that I'm not sacrificing my milk supply, but I'm also um, like shedding the weight. So, um, what, where is my water? All right, so I wanted to read you guys just like a really quick excerpt. Okay, so I shared this in the description of my last video, but um, the reason why I take coconut oil um, is because coconut oil has antimicrobial properties that sink into the bloodstream and transfer to the baby via breast milk. Mothers who ingest or use coconut oil topically will make their breast milk better by strengthening its antimicrobial properties. It will protect your baby even more from viruses and bacteria. Is that not crazy? That's insane. So that is one big reason why I take the coconut oil. Um, another reason why I take it is because it actually is, has been known to boost milk supply. Have I necessarily seen a really big boost in my milk supply? Not really, um, but my my milk supply now is much better. Um, even an ounce or two really makes a difference. So right now I average about 24 ounces a day. Now I'm gonna go into depth on that in my pumping 101 video, so I don't wanna get into it too much, but I just wanted to show you guys, this is a part of my routine, um, my 24 hours with a two month old, this is what I do, and this is what I'm taking to um, better my breast milk and to increase my breast milk supply in any way. So, pump session number four for the day, right? 7 a.m., 9 a.m., 11, yep, pump session four for the day. <laughs> Wanna oh, say hi? Say hi friends. I said pretty good. I said pretty good. It is 3.15. I can smell that he pooped. So we definitely need to change his bum. Yeah, do we need to change your bum? I think so. All right, let's get you changed and get you a baba. Yeah, that sounds good to me. All right, your bum is changed and he was angry boy, very hungry. So now, I'm checking down to get three ounces. I have a feeling you're gonna want more though. Mm -hmm. I got the feeling. Look at those sweet big blue eyes. Oh, I just love snuggling you. You're the best boy. Yeah. say I do not like the tummy time mommy no <laughs> he doesn't like the tummy time it makes you a strong boy though 
Makes you strong boy. Ooh, that mirror is pretty awesome, huh? <laughs> you see yourself? Huh? Happy boy. Yeah. And that's happy boy. While little man is just hanging out over there, um, sorry, I still have this like hanging out to dry. Kaya had an accident a couple of nights ago, so that's our mattress pad that's like drying. Um, so while he's hanging out right now, it's like four o'clock, and Riker woke up around like 3.20 ish. I am going to defrost this chicken right here, and I'm going to sweep and kind of straighten up in here a little bit, maybe get that mattress pad back on the bed. Whew. <laughs> Riker seriously loves his little play mat. And now I've got Coco playing, so like all that music, he's just like, he's getting so excited. And what melts my heart even more. You two are so cute. You're so cute. Twinsies, twinsies. Meanwhile, Kai I know, it's spray, I can smell you from here. Did you get into mommy's body spray? We need to go. We need to go take a bath, though. It makes your hair all gross. It stinks. Now we gotta go take a, a bath. Okay, come on. Let's go take a bath with a bath bomb. Come on. That prize in it. Yeah, there's prizes in it. I get a prize. I get a prize. I get a prize. All right. Well, unplanned. Um, I get a prize. Mid evening bath. Alrighty. <laughs> well, that only took like two, like, really scrubbing washes to get all that perfume out of her hair. Oh my gosh. Alright. I better go assess the damage in my room, too, to see what she, see what she did. Well, I mean, at least she <laughs> lined up all the perfumes. Oh man. Alright, well. Dang it. And little man is out again. They drank all of his baba. Yes, you did.
And now that you're done with your baba, he still has a little bit left here. You can just kind of snack in, yeah? You're gonna eat your hand instead, yeah? All right, you hang out here. Hi, this is sweet boy. Hi. I'm gonna let you hang out here, and Mama's gonna clean up after dinner. What do you think about that? So right now, it is just about seven o'clock, and this little monkey's starting to get so tired. So tired, <laughs> yeah, I saw that smirk. So I'm just letting him have some chill time here on the couch, and um, again, I'm just like finishing cleaning up after dinner, and then right around 7.30, um, eight o'clock is when I will bring him upstairs and start to get him ready for bed. <laughs> yeah, and then we snuggle and we have our last baba, right? I tried to give you the baba. <laughs> yeah, is that funny? Yeah. I tried to give you the baba and you didn't want it. You just want to talk to mom? Did you just want to talk to me? Yeah. Um, so I'm just going to kind of like hang out with him here for a little bit. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. And then um, in about like 20 minutes here, I am going to get him ready for bed. I'm going to put his jammies on and get his sleep sack on. He keeps like smiling at me. He's so cute. Um, and then, like I said, like eight o'clock, we'll put him down to bed and um, he might wake up like one more time, like at like 1 a.m. Sometimes he'll wake up at 1 a.m. Otherwise he'll wake up at like four for his, um, for like a two ounce like feeding, but we'll see, we'll see. We'll see, yeah. Okay. All right, so he's just on the verge of laughing, you guys, and I'm trying to catch it on camera. He's cool. He's so funny. Cool. Yeah. 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 Hi. Tell me all about it. All right, it is 8.15 and it is time for bed. This little guy is getting very crabby and he's very ready for bed. <laughs> He's just on the verge of sleeping right now. It is 8.30. I think I'm going to end the video there for today. Um, I will let you guys know if he wakes up one more time after this. Um, I don't anticipate him to wake up before four, but we'll see. Um, yeah, all right. All right, well that is going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this 24 hours with a two month old. He is actually almost three months old, but um, technically is still two months, so that's what we're gonna call this. <laughs> Again, this video was in collaboration with Katie. Make sure you guys go check out her channel. Tell her that I sent you, say hello. If you liked this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. It's absolutely free, it's at no cost to you. Hit that bell notification so that you don't miss out on any of my other future videos, and I will see you guys on Tuesday for another really fun video. Okay, bye guys. Myself. 